Well, today I want to show you something that I found uh, in a lock cabinet in my uh, dad's garage uh, just after he passed away 13 years ago. And uh, we had a 1950 oh. Oldsmobile. Oh. Dog, shut up. And uh, we had a 1950 Oldsmobile and, uh, with a Rocket 88 engine in it. And I found the actual brochure that he got with the uh, with the car, and uh, ours was a hard top. It let's see, what was it? It was not a convertible, but it was that hard top, and it was actually yellow. That's a color up there. It was actually this yellow colored one. Uh, yeah, you could hide anything in that car. That trunk was huge. And the back seat was something else, too. But then, on top of that, that wasn't the only thing I found. Uh, of all things, found the, the actual book that uh, they had all the accessories for 1950 in it. And uh, it's called Futuramic Oldsmobile Accessories. And uh, look inside... If you look inside, it's penciled in what the prices were and the options that this car had that my my dad had. And uh, see the radio, super deluxe radio. That was actually the most expensive thing. I don't know why. Uh, the, their normal price is around $88.00. He paid $145. He had the deluxe, super deluxe model. Eh, the rear seat speakers were another $15. Bucks. The uh, heater, heh, I guess you had to buy a heater. Uh, the deluxe heater was $67.25. Uh, the, uh, was it the cadet visor was $20.00. Um, traffic light viewer, I have no idea what that was. Uh, that was ten dollars. Deluxe steering was ten. Uh, rear fender panels were fifteen bucks each. Wheel discs <laughs> were were fifteen bucks. Uh, wheel trim rings were ten fifty five. Windshield washer was nine and a quarter. Turn signals were fifteen dollars. Oil filter was like nine. Uh, air filter was another two. Electric clock was fifteen dollars. Uh, seat covers uh, forty five dollars. Uh, <laughs> backup lamps eighteen dollars. Spot lamp twenty dollars. Fog lamps fifteen. And uh, outside rear mirror was twenty four dollars. And what's this? A glare proof mirror was four ninety five, and then it goes through vent shade six dollars, license plate frame three dollars, fender door lock three dollars, armrest fifteen dollars, ten dollars for the battery vitalizer, whatever that is. Um, liquid glaze was another twenty five dollars. Undercoating was thirty five. Lubrication agreement was 10 and then they had other optional accessories they bought. The wide <laughs> sidewall tires were $25. Oversized taller tires were $15. And foam rubber cushions were $50. So, yeah, go figure. But it shows everything in there. And even what the steering wheel with the, the horn and all that was. And you go through and you're looking at what the air conditioner and the defroster is and the standard air conditioning air conditioner heater and uh, the front dash from the clock and the radio and there's the rear seat speaker and the weird thing about this car was long about 1958 dad decided that the, uh, the upholstery was was starting to go so he said well, shoot, let's go on down to Tijuana, and I'll get a tuck and roll job done down there in Tijuana, and we'll just, you know, make a little vacation out of it. 
So we ended up going down there, stayed for a couple days while the car was redone. And even at that time there, uh, they were having trouble with people uh, smuggling uh, marijuana across the border in the upholstery. And they'd go ahead and they'd, they'd catch you on the other side and, <laughs> and get it out of the car. Well, that's why Dad had to keep a close eye on it while he did that. But uh, there's the full flow oil filter and the heavy duty air cleaner. I remember that big old thing back there. In fact, nine times out of ten, I think Dad used to take it off sometimes. He said, well, it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. And uh, there's a spot lamp that's the outside with the outside mirror. And there's the fog lamps, that's what they look like. And uh, there's the electric clock. A glare-proof mirror. I remember that. Uh, let's see what else is in there. Visor and vanity mirror, I remember that one. He had to have that for my mom. Outside rear view mirror. And there's the vent shades, that's what they look like. There's like hanging over the, the edge of the front. And the liquid glaze was I guess what they used over the, the windows and stuff. Uh, let's see, what else is there? And the front bumper ornament. There you go. We all need the exhaust deflector and the glove compartment with lamp, the luggage compartment and with a lamp in it, and Marie was lit up. Uh, under hood light, fender door lock. Oh, this is 1950 when I was born. I was born 1950. Actually, just a tail end, December 15th. There's a battery vitalizer, whatever that thing is. That's what it looks like. And then uh, there's a, shows a big drum for the GM undercoating. And genuine GM fluids. And there's that one. And then, actually, you had the owner's manual. I mean, he had everything for this. He had stored away. I mean, we... He sold that car to an El Cerrito policeman in 1968. It was still running and driving. He had rebuilt the engine. In fact, it was the first car I uh, I helped him with. I used to help him with the tools when I was like eight years old or something. He started rebuilding it. But just did the top end. He didn't have to do the whole thing. At that time, he had over 100,000 miles on it. But uh, yeah, it pretty much shows everything here. But I figured why I'd just go show you what was going on there and show you that just for something for today. And that's going to be it for now. See you guys.